Just minutes ago, we got breaking news that Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has officially filed articles of impeachment against Justices Samuel Alito and Clarence Thomas. That comes just after Senator Sheldon Whitehouse and Ron Wyden made a formal request to DOJ. They want a special counsel appointed to criminally investigate Supreme Court Justice Thomas for accepting travel and the loan of a luxury car from wealthy donor friends. NBC's Ryan Noble still with us on Capitol Hill. MSNBC legal correspondent Lisa Rubin is here with me. Okay, Ryan, what do we know about these impeachment articles? I know this story just broke. What happens next? Mm -hmm. So this comes from, uh, as you rightly point out, uh, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez from New York City, and she's filed two articles of impeachment against uh, Justice Samuel Alito and Justice Clarence Thomas. And these articles of impeachment are not based in any of the decisions that either of these two justices have made, but instead specifically about their conduct around the office. For instance, uh, in both Thomas and Alito's case, she is accusing them of not properly disclosing uh, financial benefits and gifts that they were given uh, by donors and others, and in some cases, people that had business before the court or even had a vested interest, a political interest, in some of the issues before the court. And she's also uh, doing that in the case of Clarence Thomas, saying uh, that he refused to recuse himself from certain cases that his spouse had a vested interest in as well. His wife, Ginny Thomas, of course, uh, was very much involved in the Stop the Steal effort, the efforts to overturn the 2020 election and things along those lines. Also, uh, she is accused using uh, Justice Alito uh, as well of refusing to recuse himself from certain cases of which he may have a conflict of interest. So this, these are very specific accusations that Ocasio-Cortez is leveling against these two Supreme Court justices. It comes at a time where Democrats are getting increasingly frustrated about the direction of the court. Obviously, the decisions that the, this court has rendered over the past couple of months, but also the conduct of these Supreme Court justices and the lack of oversight that they apparently seem to have uh, without any kind of specific code of ethics that they, they must follow.